This video is for the combustion setup of the FT Series 301 399 boiler in natural gas or propane. We'll start by removing the cover. There are four latches, two on the top, two on the bottom. On the latches, you have a little release button. Push on the release button and pull those tabs forward. I'll start by powering up the boiler. Now, initial startup on these, you're gonna have a lengthy pre-purge on the blower. That's just clearing the chamber of any residual gas. So while we're waiting for that, we're gonna check incoming gas pressure. Now, you don't have to take the gas pressure reading off the valve. Up top on the incoming gas line or at the bottom cabinet, there is another test port. So right here, I'm gonna start by removing the Phillips head screw. Now, word of caution, there is a rubber gasket in behind there. And sometimes it will get stuck. You don't want to lose that gasket. I'm going to hook up my manometer, and we're going to check the incoming static gas pressure. Now, this is a natural gas boiler. So the max pressure is going to be 10.5 inches of water column, a minimum of 3.5. Propane models, the maximum gas pressure is 13 inches and the minimum is 8 inches. Now this is sitting idle, so that's called static pressure. When the boiler is actually operating at high fire, we don't want to see greater than a 1 inch pressure drop. Next, we'll need a call for heat. What we've done here is we've wired up a little toggle switch. And that little toggle switch is right here on TT and you can put a jumper wire in or a toggle switch. And on the home screen, we're gonna be looking for a demand or a call for heat. And right here, we now have the icon for a radiator for a heating mode. We're gonna let the boiler go through its pre-purge modulation for light off, and then we'll look for the flame signal here on the home screen. So right here is our flame signal and our boiler is running. What's very important is we bring combustion air into this cabinet. We don't have ducted air to the blower. So this is called a negative cabinet. And if we have ducted air, combustion air coming into the, the boiler, we have to have this cover door on to check combustion. So, very important, you have to put the cover door back on while we're doing this test. So to lock the boiler into high and low fire, we're gonna use dip switch six and seven. Now dip switch six is high fire. I'm just using a pen. Uh, you can use a little thermostat screwdriver, and I'm going to put pin six in the left hander on position, and the boiler will modulate to high fire. I'm going to remove the test plug and install my combustion analyzer. While we're waiting for the combustion test to come up, we want to be checking our incoming gas pressure. And you want to make sure you're not greater than a one inch pressure drop. So this boiler is a 301,000 BTU natural gas. And max fire or high fire is between 8.5 and 10.5% CO2. Low fire is eight to 10. So you'll see we're a little low. Now, gas valve adjustments for this are only, only made in low fire. So what we need to do is go back to low fire and compensate, and then we'll double check high fire. So back to our dip switches. I'm gonna take dip switch six out of the on position. So that goes to the right hand position and dip switch seven goes to the left hand or on position. We're now gonna modulate down to low fire. So here we're in low fire and our CO2 is 9.3%. And again, our range for natural gas is eight, eight to 10. Now we were running a little slightly low on high fire. Again, we only make adjustments in low fire. So what we're going to do is go to the gas valve and make a slight adjustment. So right here on the gas valve is a number 40's torque bit cap. And I'm gonna install the torque bit, take the cap off,
And on the gas valve, you'll see plus and minus. To increase, we go clockwise. To decrease, we go counterclockwise. So I wanted to make a slight adjustment for high fire. Again, make slight adjustments, just minor adjustments here. Put your cap back on. So our range again for low fire CO2 high end is 10%. So we're still below that, which is good. Now what we'll do is we'll go back in, throw dip switch six to the full fire position. So to do that, I'm gonna take that lower cover, the cover panel back off. Okay, so dip switch seven goes back to the off position. Dip switch six goes back to the on position to go back to high fire. And we put the cover door back on to double check combustion. So there we are, we've made the adjustment. And again, the adjustments are only made at low fire. We were running previously at 8.4%. We're now running between 86 and 87 at full fire. I'll remove the cover one more time. It's always good practice to double check it one or two times with the cover, cover door on. Uh, so right now I'm gonna put high fire in the off position, let it go back to normal operation. Now I'll also remove our call for heat, which was right here, which is TT call. Drop that out. The boiler will go into post purge and I can remove my manometer and other tools. If you have any technical questions, please contact the factory.